We're still cleaning up after your mess, Chris Columbus. In Percy Jackson's Sea of Monsters, we follow Percy as he's been sent on a quest to retrieve the Golden Fleece in the Sea of Monsters and stop Kronos from being resurrected. So yeah, I was not a fan of The Lightning Thief. If you haven't seen The Lightning Thief, watch it and die. Then you'll know what it felt like for me to watch The Lightning Thief. Look you guys, I'm only going to say this once, so listen up. Percy Jackson's Sea of Monsters kinda impressed me. <laughs> I know. Let's let that digest. Why? Because it's not a complete disaster like the first movie. There were moments in this film where I literally just wanted to stand up and start clapping and just be like, you didn't F it up. You didn't F it up. Thank you. First of all, there's mist. It may be in a bottle, but I don't care. Mist is mist, and that is important. Second of all, there's Clarice, there's Dionysus, Kronos is finally entering the plot. That is huge. There's a freaking prophecy, and they actually have an age. They may have bumped it up to 20, but that makes sense. At least there's an age. At least we have that. Also, in the book, Grover was kidnapped at the beginning of the book because he's a sadist and he's supposed to go off on his own little quest at the end of the lightning thief. But no, we're still cleaning up after Christopher Columbus' mess and he didn't get kidnapped, so therefore we had to kidnap him later. But the fact that they took the time to kidnap Grover, I really truly appreciate that so much. Sea of Monsters is technically not a great film, but it is an apology letter to the fan. Now look you guys, some changes still had to happen. I mean seriously, how could they not after the disaster of the lightning thief? But I do appreciate the effort that they took to try to tell a somewhat faithful adaptation and that effort goes a long, long way. Having read the novel, there were moments in the film that I was hoping I would have. Like I was really hoping Hades would show up in the Sea of Monsters and I was really hoping that they would have that gr funny donut story. It was so funny the book was actually my favorite part and it's not in the movie and I was actually really disappointed in that. I was thought I thought that would have been a great way to make fun of McDonald's as this giant nest of monsters. As a score goes, I'm going to give Sea of Monsters a shocking 3 out of 5. You, It's not truly a great film. The CGI is a little weak at times, and there are definitely some unintentional laughs at the film. Overall, though, I still technically don't think this film is a complete disaster like the first movie. So, what did you think of Sea Monsters? Have you read the novels? Was this movie just a complete butcher like the last time? Or do you like me and was just thoroughly impressed because they didn't completely screw it up like the first movie? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. So until next time you guys, I'm the Slasher Movie Reviewer and you guys have just been slashed.